Hello students. Today we will continue the uh, remaining part of the poultry. In my previous class we have uh, discussed about the exotic or improved breeds. Out of four classes of the exotic breeds, the two classes that is the Mediterranean breed and the American breed we have covered. Now in today's class we will discuss about the English breed and the Asian breed. English breed. The members of this English breed uh, group present a good quality of flesh. Now beside the Cornish variety, beside the Cornish variety, all the varieties have uh, white skin color and red ear lobes. Okay? In the English breeds, that is the beside this Cornish variety, all these varieties have a white skin color and red ear lobes and this English breed eggs are white uh, are with brownish shell okay they have the uh, eggs with the brownish shell now in this english breed the three remarkable varieties are the astralorp sussex and cornish astralorp now the astralorp variety has been developed from the black or orpington okay black or orpington stock of australia the astralorp weighs, cock weighs about 3.5 kg whereas hen weighs about 3 kg. The astralorp body is long and deep, okay. The astralorps have a very long and deep body and the comb is a single, comb is single, ear lobe is red and beak is black, okay. The body is long and deep, comb you can see, the comb is a single okay it is of single type and you can see the red ear lobes okay you can see the red ear lobes and then the beak is black in color okay the bleaky beak is black in color then the plumage color is greenish black okay the plumage color is greenish black the tail feathers okay the tail feathers are compact the tail feathers are compact so in the astralorp the body is long and deep comb is single ear lobes are red ear lobes are red beak is black okay beak is black the plumage color is greenish black and tail feathers are compact okay tail feathers are compact the second one is the sussex now these are stout bodied birds the sussex are the stout bodied birds and these are also preferred for flesh these are also preferred for flesh usually the a uh, cock weighs about 4 kg and the hen weighs about 3 kgs. In Sussex, the body is long and deep. The Sussex body is long and deep with a prominent breast. Okay, with a prominent breast. In this also you will see that the comb is a single. Or the comb is single. Ear lobe is red. Okay, the comb is single and ear lobe is red. But the color of the beak toe and shank okay but the color of the beak toe okay the toe and shank are dull is it clear that is body is long deep with the prominent breast comb is single ear lobe is red but the color of the beak toe shank and toe are dull the plumage is of variable colors the plumage is of variable colors and the usual the tail feathers are loose the tail feathers are loose that is about the Sussex. Now, the Cornish. These Cornish birds are also used for flesh. Okay, these Cornish birds which are healthy enough and are also used for flesh. The Cornish birds have been developed. Okay, these Cornish have been developed in England from the crossing between. These are developed in England from the crossing between. Indian Asil, okay, Indian Asil and the England game breeds, okay, and the England game breeds. Remember, that is the Cornish developed in England from the crossing between Indian Asil and English game breeds. Because of this, this Cornish is also known as Cornish Indian breed. This is also known as Cornish Indian breed. Now the average weight of the male that is cock is 4 kg and the hen the female is 3 kg. The Cornish size is relatively bigger. The Cornish are relatively bigger with a very broad breast. Comb is P type here. The comb is P type and the ear lobe is red in color. 
okay you can see the comb is p type and the ear lobes are red okay the ear lobes are red the plumage is black or white okay. plumage is black or white and total feather arrangement is compact the total feather arrangement is compact so that's about the cornish what you should remember these cornish are also known as the cornish indian breed now these are known as cornish indian breed because they have been developed in the england from the crossing between the indian asil and the english game breeds is it clear okay now the asian breeds now these asian breeds they are name it because they are originated from asia okay they are originated from asia that's why they are all called as asian breeds now these are poor layers okay these are poor layers and these are also mainly used for flesh purpose the asian breeds lay small sized brownish eggs okay the asian breeds lay a small sized brownish eggs because they are the poor layers okay the important or the remarkable varieties in the asian breeds are the brahma cochin and langson okay brahma cochin and langson brahma now these are said to be the brahma are said to be a native of brahmaputra areas okay they are said to be the natives of the brahmaputra area but there has been a controversy and a confusion over the origin of this uh, brahma okay there was a uh, controversy or confusion over the origin of this brahma it appears to have developed in the united states from a large birds okay it has appears to be developed in the united states from the large birds with a heavily feathered legs okay with a heavily feathered legs imported in the 1840s from the chinese port of shanghai and those known as shanghai birds but at the meeting of a poultry judge judges in boston in 1852 uh agreement was reached to name it a brahmaputra the letter became brahma okay that was the history of the origin of this brahma then these brahma varieties have uh the cock have 5 kg weight and the hens have 4 kg weight and the body is massive okay the body of this brahma is a massive broad and deep okay massive broad and deep the comb is p type now here the comb is p type the comb is p type okay ear lobes are red okay the ear lobes are red in color plumage color is of varied type see here p shape then the ear lobes are red in color plumage color is of varied type so brahma it is said to be originated or in the brahmaputra areas okay now these are massive bodies okay cochin the variety of uh, has originated this cochin variety has originated from the shanghai district of china hence it is also called as shanghai fowl okay hence it is also called as shanghai fowl now it is also used for flesh it is also used for flesh so it is a table breed the average weight of the cock is 4 kg and the hen is 3.5 kg the cochin body is rounded in appearance and the breast is low okay it is rounded in appearance and breast is low okay and breast is low the ear lobe is red okay the ear lobes are red you can see the ear lobes they are red in color and the and the shank okay and the shank is fully feathered you can see these shanks okay these shanks are what fully feathered okay they are fully feathered and plumage color is white or black plumage color is white or black these are okay you can see the shank the shank is what it is very uh, feathered okay highly feathered langson the langson variety has been originated in the langson district of china okay the langson variety of this chicken is originated in the langson district of china this langson's birds are shorter than the other asian breeds okay comparatively this langson is shorter compared to the other asian breeds 
and the average weight of the male is 4.5 kg whereas female weighs about 3.5 kg. The Langston body is a stumpy, okay, the Langston body is stumpy with the long legs, okay, it is stumpy, body is stumpy with the long legs, is it clear? Then the comb is a single type, okay, the comb is single type, ear lobes are red, ear lobes are red and plumage color is variable, okay, plumage color is variable, they are different. So Langston originated in the Langson district of China so it is called as Langson then the body is stumpy with the long legs the body is stumpy with the long legs comb is single type ear lobes are red and plumage color is variable plumage color is variable see this one Langson okay now see here we have uh, that is discussed about the uh, English breeds and the uh, Asian breeds. Now in English breed we have discussed the three examples that is the Astralorp, Sussex and Cornish. The Astralorp and Sussex both have a uh, white skin color okay both have white skin color and the Astralorp has dark shank color whereas Sussex has uh, white shank color and in case of Cornish you will find that the skin color and shank color both are yellow. The comb type in the Astralorp and Sussex is a single whereas in Cornish it is P type. The ear lobes in Astralorp, Sussex and Cornish all are red colored ear lobes. In all these three varieties you will find the egg color is brown. Egg color is brown. So that is about the English breed that is the Astralorp, Sussex and Cornish. In Asian breed, okay, in Asian breeds that is the Brahma, Cochin and Langson, okay, Brahma, Cochin and Langson. In the Brahma and Cochin, the skin color and the shank color both are yellow, okay. In Brahma and Cochin, the skin color as well as shank color both are yellow, whereas in Langson, okay, in Langson, you will find the skin color is a pinkish white, whereas the shank color is bluish black. In the uh, Brahma, you will find that the P, uh, comb type is P, okay. The comb is P type whereas in Cochin and Langson you will find that both the comb types are single. Both the comb types are single whereas the ear lobes in Brahma, Cochin and Langson all are red and the egg color is also brown. Okay, Egg color is also brown and the weight of these uh, Astralorp is 3.5 in the cock and 3 in uh, hen and 4 in Sus uh, Sussex male and the uh, Sussex female that is 3, that Cornish 4.5 and 3.5, Brahma 5 and 4 and Cochin is 4 and 3.5, Langson 4.5 and 3.5 in cock and hen respectively. Is it clear? So in this today's class we have completed the remaining two uh, uh, exotic breed classes. So all these four classes have been completed. So in the next class we will discuss about the diseases of the poultry okay diseases of the poultry if any uh, comments you please comment in the comment box and if you like this video like it and share it thank you next class we'll discuss about the diseases of poultry